So guess what? You're on a treat. We're going to the dump. I've just hit the main road. So this is kind of the, it's not really a main road. It's kind of a rural road. But anyhow, this is the road to get to the road that gets you to another road that gets you to my road. So these fields over here used to be tobacco fields, but they are not now. Ooh, sun gets you. Now they are pepper fields. And I'll put you over here to see you see those pepper fields and stuff. And people are starting to come home from work. So with Chris having a bum knee, I have to pick up trash duty, which I hate. I hate going to the dump. Um, it's it just like ugh, it creeps me out. And the guy who works there is like sort of kind of rude. I mean, you'll just get ready to chuck your bag of trash, and and we don't have mandatory recycling, but he'll be like, "There's no cardboard in there, is there? No cardboard? Any plastic in there?" I don't want to hear glass when it hits the bottom. I'm like, sheesh, no. You know, like, I do recycle, even though it isn't mandatory recycling. Hello. So, there's a energy substation. Fun. It doesn't help us a bit when power goes out. Because in our little area, there's only about... 40 people on our little grid thing, and so, um, they don't, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a treat, I'm going to swing by and let you see our store, how about that, I mean, when I talk about being in the middle of nowhere, I mean, the middle of nowhere, there it is, the country store, you got it here first, folks. Yeah. yeah, this car's going to turn and there's a car behind me that's like not amused on letting you see the country store, but there it is, the country store. The only place in the world where you can buy hoop cheese and minnows at the same counter. True story. I've never bought hoop cheese or minnows or pizza by the slice. Okay, so here's the road that goes to the this is all tobacco land through here but they really sold almost all of their tobacco allotments to pepper farmers <clears throat> there's a huge pepper farm organization thingy in this county called Bailey Bailey maybe something I'm not sure Bailey Farms <laughs> And they grow all kinds of peppers, and so I guess there's more money in peppers than there are tobacco, which is fine. I'd much rather eat a pepper than eat tobacco. And there's a house up here that just makes me laugh. Not in a bad way, I just think it's very um, resourceful like people around here hate debt and so look at there can you see that well no you can't really see it too well but anyhow they built on to a built on to a built on there it is and um like it started off as just a mobile home i'm not sure if you can see it there's a cute little tiny house not sure this is the road to the dump oh boy Hope that best, my best friend there, the grumpy guy's working. You know, I say he never helps when he comes out and crabs every time, but this time he probably won't. That part's closed. Who do we got here? We have some conscientious recycler. Hmm. Hmm. She looks like she's having more trouble than I am. There's where the little grumpy guy stays. He's not in his little shed. Oh, I'll just pull over here. Oh, she's doing a great job of recycling. Look at her. Ooh, 
that that could prop you up here. I doubt it. Hmm. Don't know what to do. How about here? Can you see there? I doubt it. There. Oh, new guy's coming out. Here we go. Let's see what I can get done here. make a liar out of me. That guy was real nice. Never seen him work here before. But he was wonderful about helping out. And there's all the recycle pans. She's really good about recycling. Good for her. Look at all that electronics. You can tell it's after Christmas, huh? Yep, up. Oh, we have a traffic jam. Traffic jam at the dump. Oh my! Traffic jam at the dump. Okay. <coughs> that really wasn't too eventful, was it? Okay, so I'll tell you a story on the way home. We bought our property from a um, estate. Well, they have bought all the property there and divided up sublot, but our property specifically was eh, let me see that guy behind me oh my gosh two cars are traffic jam oh bright lights i'll turn you this way so we're this way so anyhow we bought our land and the guy who had lived there had an old house and a small pony barn and they were made out of logs and we have a tobacco barn his family had been sharecroppers but he wasn't a sharecropper mule jefferson made moonshine and there were parts of his still it might still be down by the creek actually the boys used to just like i think it was hysterical just the burner part not the copper kettle or whatever <clears throat> but anyhow and all the liquor bottles but anyhow mule jefferson would make this moonshine and he'd trot up to the country store where he would sell the moonshine and everybody there imbibed in the moonshine and if he was too drunk which i guess he usually was when i talked to one of the deputy sheriffs about it then okay squirrel moment see that house right there he's got like 400 chickens sells eggs very entrepreneurial um so anyhow mule jefferson would get drunk and they would put him on his mule and the mule would just plod his way down here, plod down this road until mule got home. And then, you know, mule would wake up in his front yard. And there wasn't roads back to where we were. There was kind of like a little goat path to mule's house. He didn't have any um, electricity or anything. The outhouse actually is still on our property too. Um, but... <laughs> It was kind of funny because when we bought the place, the old house was there. Um, it was filled. I mean, literally filled one room with nothing but empty Prince Albert tobacco cans. Apparently, Mule liked to, rape, to roll his own. I'm very surprised that um, he didn't burn something down. Um, the puppy bar was kind of neat, but Chris had gotten rid of the puppy barn and the house. That's another story to be told. Can we say arson? Um, but <laughs> no, not arson. What do they call that? Yeah, an arsonist, I guess. He just thought he would burn the remains since it had fallen in itself and well. It took the fire department and the forestry department, and well, you get the picture. So anyhow, the um, the house and the pony barn aren't there, but the outhouse is still there, and the tobacco barns are still there, and the smokehouse is still there. 
on the back side of the property, on the other side of the creek. So anyhow, um, yeah, that was kind of, we loved the fact that we have a bit of history that Mule Jefferson, who is well known through the county, you know, actually lived on our property. Maybe we should put one of those like little plaques, like 25 yards away was the original site of old Mule Jefferson's. But anyhow, Mule Jefferson's aunt owned the property before we did, well before he lived on it. And he lived there for, I don't know how long, 75 years or something. But she apparently had beautiful gardens. And so we have tons and tons of heirloom iris, the purple bearded iris and daffodils and jonquils and paper wipes and tea roses and yucca plants and um, uh, the dogwoods are kind of strategically placed in back of the red buds. I don't know if she did that part, but it was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's the story of our property. And as a matter of fact, this road used to be a dirt road, but now it's not. So, if, I mean, this road wasn't even here. So, if you go straight back through the woods there, instead of making this turn, I don't know if you can see, you can get to the back side of our property that way, or you can take this little goat path that's kind of been closed off. That was the only house when we moved out here, and then people just started moving in, stealing our thunder. I mean, we like people okay, but it was just more fun when we were living out here by ourselves. People started building, but still there's only about 40 people that live out here, 40 homes in, I don't know what square amount. We only have one, two, three, four families on our little road. Um, and we like it okay. I mean, our neighbors don't bother us at all. So anyhow, here's the road to my home. And I will catch you on the next video.